Hey everybody! Just wanted to show you um, a couple of projects that I made for Trisha, a little shabby chic for her birthday. Hi sis! Happy birthday! Still! <laughs> um, so I, I need to get these um, packed up and on their way, so I wanted to go ahead and do the video and have it ready for when she receives them. Uh, but the first thing I did was alter a tiny canvas bag that I had and um, I covered it in this embroidered fabric which I had in my stash um, well before I added any, anything to it um, I did the did some avocado dye and um, I still have my jar. It's, it has still lasted, thankfully. But I can't remember if it was Trisha or Neri. One of the two, uh, when I first started doing this, suggested putting it in a spray bottle. So I did. I had a little empty bottle and I put some in here and just sprayed all of these pieces. And I just, I love the result. It, it came out so, so nice. It's it's nice and light, not not too dark, not too light, just a very very beautiful beautiful pink color. Um, so I attached that, and then I had um, this trim from Artie, one little dreamer, and I sprayed that also, and it took the color very nicely. And then I snipped off some leaves um, from one of Artie's laces also and sprayed those and they are a super light pink absolutely gorgeous and I made one of my um, cheesecloth shabby winter magic flowers to put on there and then one of my um, uh, ribbon slider centers and I do have a tutorial on how to do those and then on the leaves um, I had gotten uh, from uh, what is from Emma it's, uh, Emma Jean Hicks her shop is M's Emporium I think um, but you know she had a flash flash sale on Facebook and this teeny tiny pearl trim in a couple, couple different colors and I'm so glad that I got it because that was just what it needed just just to dress it up a little bit more so I just kind of followed the, vein, the veining on the leaves and then put some on the um, I've got a couple loose spots because I tightened it up a little bit so I'll fix that um, put a couple layers of a small very light pink lace trim across the top and then added the pearls to that so that is the bag and then inside the bag I've got it hooked to it so that it doesn't get all tangled up. Inside the bag is a chunky charm. And there is a lot on this charm. And it, I mean, it, I put it on this type of um, finding so that if Trisha wants to use it for a key ring or just hang it easily in her craft room she can do that. Um, so there's a little heart with uh, pearls and I made several pearl and bead dangles to hang on there. And there's all kinds of charms. There's a fan, there's a parasol, the bird cage, a little arty cake, a little big Ben, so another little arty cake piece, Eiffel Tower, and a bling circle. There's a little ballerina in there. I think there's a dress form in here somewhere, a key, but that is it's one seriously chunky chunky charm and this is the first one that, that I made that was actually 
chunky chunky so I'm very happy with how it came out and I, I hope you like it sis kept it in pink and white and silver and clear colors that I know that you love So that is that. And then for her main gift, I um, did a shadow box frame. And that's how it came out. It actually has the uh, has the stand on the back back. So she can either hang it or um, stand it somewhere. Um, but what I started out with, I didn't want just plain boring sides, so um, well I gessoed the whole thing, and then I took a a, um, a metal stencil that I have and put it on the sides and used um, the iridescent medium. through the stencil and I just I love how that came out and it's on the top and the sides too just to dress up the sides a little more yeah and, and something different than lace um, so on the outside edges on the front edges I used a lace trim that Trisha had given me and a couple pieces from a vintage bracelet on the corners and this was a silver frame from Michaels and I gessoed it and then dry brushed over with some of the iridescent medium and don't know if you can see the little pearl effect that I put on there or not um, laid down some embroidered uh, lace fabric that Trisha had given me and used a couple of the laces um, and some doilies this is a trim from Lily um, who is Shabbylicious and these were a couple flowers that Trisha gave me I made another one of the little shabby winter magic flowers there with a little center um, little lace and pearls up in here and little bling pieces and a little flower there from Shabbylicious also this, uh, this piece is cut from a piece Trisha had given me. Um, the corners are basically the same, those two. And then up in this corner, just a very small flower cluster. Um, um, this was a gold metal bead cap that I gessoed. This was actually two of them, and I spread them out and made a flower out of it. There's a little butterfly brooch here that was gold, and I gessoed that also and just a little silver key and um, use some cheesecloth and just made a uh, made a bow and then topped the bow with one of my resin pieces that I also gessoed and then down here I think this was a, um, just a, a charm that I got from Michaels but I just I loved it you know with all the um, dangling pearls on there and thought it fit here pretty well and then all around the inside, I used another Shabbylicious trim. I uh, don't know if you're going to be able to see it or not. Uh, it's very small and it's an organza that's um, intertwined with a very tiny pearl strand. So th that is, um, those are the projects that I made for Trisha says I hope you like them hope you're happy with them I sure enjoyed making them for you it was so good to have time to, to really sit and think and create I had a ball doing these um, so happy birthday sis love you to bits and thank you all so much for watching and for your comments really appreciate it and I will hopefully see you soon till then take care bye bye